Uh, Icelandic authorities have been quite tough on, on some of the bankers, uh, some are even in jail. Uh, but the money is still gone, and much of it probably hidden offshore in tax havens. What do you think about that? Well, uh, of course, there is, has a lot of research been ongoing to try to find any such funds that have not been reported to the, to the tax authorities. But uh, I, I have a feeling that uh, there aren't as huge sums hidden away as some would think. I think many of these bankers believed in what they were doing, believed that the bubble could just continue to grow. And when it burst, uh, uh, money that was on the accounts but wasn't really, uh, never really there, uh, disappeared. So th this wasn't, and I'm not just talking about Iceland now, I'm talking about the, the run-up to the international financial crisis. We saw a huge increase in assets, particularly in the banks. But was there ever any real value behind this? I think much of it was just air, just uh, numbers uh, uh, that were out of proportion to reality. So when we had the financial crash, uh, crash of 2007-8, uh, we were in effect wiping uh, away a lot of uh, air rather than uh, losing real value. I learned that the Icelandic government approved for the tax authority to buy sensitive tax information data. Why is that important? Well, uh, it's uh, important to rebuild trust in Icelandic society towards well, government obviously, but also the financial system and our way of doing things. Uh, people lo lost faith in uh, a lot of institutions uh, and obviously in politics and and banks with the crash. And, and having faith in important institutions is very important, very valuable for society. So we want to show that uh, we are leaving no stone unturned. Uh, this uh, is now being researched by the, uh, by the tax authority. And uh, it's very difficult to say what will come out of it, but in any case, people can rest assured that the government is doing what it can to uh, look into any misconduct. But why dig into the past? Isn't it better for a society, I, I, Iceland in, in, in this case, to forgive and move on? Well, that's also a, a very important point. Uh, it's something that I've been thinking about a lot recently, because now it's it's been what, close to eight years, uh, seven and a half years since the, the crash. And society is still more preoccupied with those events than it should be. What do I mean by that? Well, as I mentioned before, I think it's extremely important that we learn from the past. But there is still uh, too much negativity in society, too much mistrust to the to the extent that it can become damaging for the society. So we need to uh, do what we can to learn from the past, punish those that uh, broke the law, obviously, but then move on and rebuild. And I would like to see us go uh, more into the rebuilding phase, and we are starting to do it, definitely, but it has taken seven, eight years to get there. And hopefully when people see that we are continuing to work on improving our system, we are leaving no stone unturned, they can start to have more faith in the future. Mm -hmm. What do you personally think about people and companies that are using, well, tax havens for hiding assets, for example? Well, uh, in, in Iceland, like in most Nordic societies, or all Nordic societies, I suppose, we attach a lot of importance to everybody paying his uh, share because uh, we have a, a big, uh, well, well, society is, is seen as a big project that everybody needs to take part in. So when somebody is, uh, is cheating the rest of society, it is taken very seriously in Iceland. Uh, and uh, we have 
been trying to, uh, of course, get people to uh, to pay their taxes, but also emphasize uh, research on w what went wrong in the past. Uh, but it's uh, it is to some extent uh, a question of preserving the values. I think most people uh, share, at least in our part of the world, that. Uh, you have a responsibility to pay taxes. Somebody told me, I don't know whether it's true, that uh, in Sweden you take it so far that uh, people are extremely proud of paying taxes. I wouldn't say that Icelanders are proud of paying taxes, but they still feel it's their responsibility. So uh, we want to maintain those values. I see. Uh, well, in Sweden there's a debate on, I mean, we have a s sort of a, I've just elaborate on this, we have a special law now that people that maybe had assets uh, abroad can take it home, mm -hmm. sort of an amnesty, you know, not being punished, but, but declare it for five years back or something like that. And but there's been quite a debate uh, on that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, um, what about yourself, uh, Mr. Prime Minister? Have you or did you have any connections yourself to an offshore company? Uh, myself? No. Well, uh, the uh, uh, Icelandic companies, and I, I have worked for Icelandic companies, had connections with offshore companies, even the, uh, the um, uh, what's, what's it called, the um, workers' unions. Uh, so it would have been through uh, such arrangements, but uh, I have always uh, given all of my assets and that of my family up for for the taxes, so uh, there has never been any any of me as I, my assets uh, hidden anywhere, and uh, it's a, it's an unusual question for <laughs> for an Icelandic politician to get. It's almost like being uh, accused of, of something, but uh, I can I can confirm that uh, I have never hidden any of my assets. Sorry for being rude. That's <laughs> not what I want to do. I just okay. wanted to ask you personally that uh, so the case is that you have never had whatsoever any connection to an offshore company yourself? Uh, as I say, uh, my uh, assets have always been um, uh, up on the table. Mr. Prime Minister, what can you tell me about a company called Vintris? Well, uh, um, it's a company, if I, if I recall correctly, which is associated with one of the companies that I uh, was on a board of, and uh, it was uh, ha had an account, which, as I as I mentioned, has been uh, with the tax uh, uh, on the tax account uh, since it was established. So uh, now I'm starting to feel a, a bit strange about these questions because it's like you are accusing me of something. <laughs> when uh, you are asking me about a, com uh, a company that uh, has been but, but, but on my uh, tax return yeah, from but the I, I, it's, It must be okay for me as a journalist to ask a yes, prime minister so about so personal... Certainly, but, but, uh, but you are indicating that I have not paid uh, taxes on it. No, I'm just asking you okay, questions. Okay, okay. So, so, but uh, to go into the details, I would like my partner to do it in Icelandic because I don't have the details uh, to discuss it. Yeah. 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 Uh, Af hverju gafstu ekki upp í hagsmunaskráningu þingmanna Konan mín seldi hlut í, í fjölskyldu fyrirtækinu, mm. það fór í einhverja umsjón í bankanum mm -hmm. og í bankinn setti um eitthvað fyrirkomulega á því uh, og úrvarð þetta fyrirtæki eða, eða 
ég kann ekki einu sem á þetta allt saman, en allt gefið upp til skatts frá upphafi. En hvaða eignir eru í félagi? Ég meina, þú byrðir ekki... Við vitum um það að vintris var kröfuhafi og er kröfuhafi í fallu bankan. Já, ég, þú ert að spyrja mig um hluti sem ég er ekki einu sem búin að kynna mér. Þú seldir þinn hluti félaginu fyrir eitt dollara. Nei, nei, nei. Þetta er þú ert að spyrja mig um einhverju tóma vitlisu. Þú plata mig við tala á fölskum fórsettum. Ég er með undirskiptin með hann. Já. Viltu sjá hann? Já, ég meina, þetta er bara... But with all respect, Mr. Prime Minister, it must be... It must be okay to ask those questions. Já, einmitt. Sko, það... Á gamla stæð 2009. Þegar þú spyrðum að komið vita, þá verður ekki einmitt tækifæri til þess að kynna mér það sem þú þarf að spyrja. Þú hlýtur að vita um félagi, þú seldir konunni þinni félagi helmingi félagi fyrir eitt dóna. Ég er bara að segja, seldi ég konu minni. Ég var ekki eins og giftur á þessu tíma. Ég er bara að segja þér að ég var að segja þér að þú hefur allt verið gefið eftir skatt frá upphæði. Þannig að þið eru verið að gera eitthvað tortryggilegt sem að er ekki tortryggilegt. Vita félagið þín er ég engi fæns að þú hafir átt aflandsfélagið sem að hvað aðdrið er að reyna að búa til hérna? Sigmundur, þú hlýtur að geta svarað þessum spurningum. Þú forsætti sér á þér að þú hefur ekki komið heilt frá. 